guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah and we are back on the center map playing some ARK today. So today I wanted to get started working on our actual base build because right now we are in this little tiny hut and uh, and that's no good. We don't want to be just in a little tiny hut forever. So I want to build a little bigger than we normally do this time and we have a new mod on the server called Castles, Forts and Keeps which gives us all sorts of cool new building materials we can work with. So I think I want to build kind of a castle, fort, or keep style building. So, uh, this is the area we're going to build it in. I'm thinking kind of right here. The only problem is that is where we've built our temporary hut. Where I might actually have to relocate it, which is definitely not ideal. But, that eh, is what it is. So, I think we're going to take, uh, build a little hut or a little platform or something. Just over here where we can put our crafting tables and stuff while we do this. Uh, and then go ahead and gather up some materials and make a craft table. So I'm going to go ahead and build up a little bit something over here. And then I think I'm going to bring you guys back. All right, guys, we have cleared the space to, to start our build and built ourselves a new temporary little hut here. We did do it out of stone because we don't know how long we're going to need it and it'll help. Um, so to make stuff in the castles, forts, and keeps mod, we need to make a mason retable, which, let's see, it takes metal, stone, wood, and hide. Let's do metal. Uh, let's do stone, wood, and, oh, we got hide in here somewhere. Hide. What are we short on? Oh, more metal. There we go. So I'll make one of these suckers. Um, there's a ton of different pieces in there, so I'm not really sure what all of them do. I haven't really played around with it a whole lot. Uh, but we do have a ton of materials. I know it mostly takes uh, metal and raw metal and stone, but we do have some ingots here as well. I think we need to get a little bit more of those crafting. Uh, let's just use wood to power it because we can get a ton of that really fast. So I also have four forges set up so we can get some metal going so we don't have to wait a super long time. So let's go ahead and put some wood in those. And then we'll get some metal going as well. Uh, now, I don't want to use all my metal. I have been gathering metal like crazy. There's a ton of metal close by. And so I think we have, I think, well over 10,000. Maybe we'll just do... This? That many? No, let's, let's do... Yeah, that many sounds good. So that would make us about 2,500 metal total. And that should be pretty good. That should last us a little while. We'll let those running. And also, that'll give us a lot of charcoal to make gunpowder to make ammo. But let's go ahead and set this table down. Uh, right here, I guess, is fine. Let's take a look at what we got. Structures. So, obviously, I want to start with some foundations. We got rounded ones. Triangular ones. Okay. I don't know what to do with that. And then regular keep foundations. That'll require metal and stone. And, man, does this stuff look expensive. Holy crap. Do you see the price on those? All right. Uh, can we go stand in the way? You can access both. Okay. Let's grab stone. We are definitely going to need to get more metal. And more stone. Luckily, we have a Doodicarus now, so stone is not too bad. But let's start with this. And I hope this stuff can be picked up. Let's go ahead and get some foundations crafted. We're mainly going to need the regular ones. So I'm going to make a bunch of those first. Maybe 20 of them. And then we'll do some rounded ones, because obviously we want the rounded towers on either side. Maybe, uh, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, times four, 16. Let's make 14 of each. And, great, we're gonna let this stuff craft up. Um, I'm gonna have to keep moving materials over, and then we'll start laying down at least the footprint of what our base is gonna look like. All right, we've got our first batch of building supplies ready. And I think I want to start kind of right in between these two stone things. Just, <laughs> and I think I want to be right in the middle. I'm thinking like right here. Let's see if we can get this as straight as possible. Let's look, does that look pretty straight? Oh, I think so, it's so hard to tell. May back up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good. We need a little bit of room, but not a lot. And we'll do, like, right 
there. Okay, we started it. It's the first one. And now, from what I understand with this, you can actually change how it looks. So you can change it to look like different things. So let's kind of look at that really quick. So right now, it is whatever the default is. We can do sandstone. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay. We can do graystone. So that's the default. Mossy. Okay, a little bit more castle-y. Dark matter. Whoa, look at that. It's like moves. It's like water. Oh, well, that might be cool. Uh, frosty. Okay, we have like an ice castle. We are near the snow biome, so that might make sense. Hellfire. It's kind of a crackling, burning look. Okay. Uh, obsidian, which is plain black. And that's it. Uh, the dark matter is really cool, but will I get really tired of it really fast? Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what we'll do right now. Right now, we will build stuff simply out of... Uh, maybe Hellfire, because it's pretty basic. This still adds a little bit of flair. No, you know what? We'll just make it out of Greystone to start. We'll change it later. Because um, that way we won't have to worry about doing each one. So how wide do we want the back of our base? Uh, that's three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wide? No, more than that. Eight. Nine. Wait, did I, did I miscount already? Ten, let's see. It should be eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we want at least one more. Okay, let's take a look at how big that looks. Uh, we definitely want to build bigger than we need this time. That's a good start. The problem is our area is so big that it's hard to judge what we really need. Let's go walk over there with the mammoth and see how the mammoth size compares. Yeah, I mean, it's big enough to put a mammoth in there. Okay, well, I want the, I want the edges rounded. Let's, I, we obviously can't go any further this direction, so let's see what the rounded edges would look like. Did we even leave ourselves enough room? Oh, barely. Can we get the other side? Ooh, actually, that's going to look really cool. Literally cannot get any closer to the edge than that. Oh, picked the wrong one there. I'll do a, f a regular one, then a rounded, and then a regular one. It'll kind of just round right into the base. Yeah. Whoa. Like so. Okay, that's that side. Let's go maybe two bigger on this side. So that should be, what, 12 wide or something like that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, wow, way bigger. It's like 18 big. All right, we need to make some more foundations, and I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, laid out. Okay, so I think we have the base or the back of the base done you can kind of see i want to be that wide and then i want to come in a little bit but i just wanted to come in square because we don't have to because we have some nice triangular oh is that slope down okay uh foundations so we can make it look like this and we'll come in maybe a few so that's one that's two Ooh, this might be a problem. Oh, will that even work? Kind of guessing where it goes. <laughs> it's three. Oh no, we can't see our foundations at all now. That's not good. <laughs> well, let's leave it at three, I guess, and try to do the same thing on this side. So that'll give us one. Get up there. Two. And three. Uh, and. Okay. So, let's see if we can write on our Terra now. Now that we use up some of the stuff. Are we uh, encumbered? No. And does that look pretty even? Do we count it out right? 
<sighs> see, it's so hard to tell because we can't really see it because of that edge there. Don't know what we're going to do about that. So let's see. We've got one there. We've got one here. Can we just kind of connect it and hope for the best? Let's try that. Let's try just connecting it all the way across. Because we'll have to fill it all in later. But we should have enough foundations to connect. Oh. Okay. And there's already one there. So that should be connected to give us a pretty good idea. I don't like that it's in the ground. That's gonna be poking through the ground inside of the base. But I think that'll be okay. I, th I think that'll be fine. So it does mean we're gonna be a little bit limited on what we can do. I could have just built it all in this flat area over here. I could always pick these up and do that. But I do want it to kind of be in the center. Is it even centered? Who knows? Let's look. Uh, it's not really the most centered. Uh, okay. Oh, just a little bit less of a slope there and it would be so much better. I mean, that is a good spot, but it could be moved over more to the right. But then I think we'll have more problem with that angle. So I think if we're gonna do it, we gotta leave it where it is or move it all the way into the flat area to the left or all the way into the flat area to the right. All right, so we should have the outline of the first level done. I think this is what we're gonna go with. We've moved it a couple times, tried different designs, but I think this is what's gonna work best with our terrain and still be good size, but not too big. The only problem now is I've used almost all of my materials and so I'm gonna just go spend some time just gathering up stone, gathering up metal. I think we still have a couple thousand, so we can make a few more things. Um, but not a whole lot. So I'm gonna go spend some time gathering stuff up and then we will continue to build. All right, guys, so we have done quite a bit of building. So let's look at these pieces real quick. So I went through and I built a ton of stuff and I put up a bunch of it. Um, so there are rounded, diagonal, and straight to cover all your different angles. Uh, and for each of those, there is like two different kinds of door frames. There's arrow slits, there is windows, and then there's things you can put in the windows, and there's square windows, and then there's, oh, just so much stuff. But right now, oh, where I put the rounded stuff? Did I just move it to the mammoth? I've been kind of using him to hold some stuff. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Uh, 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 uh. So I want secret doors. I want these always. Secret door frames, which I haven't actually played with yet, but I bet it's going to be awesome. Um, rounded walls, rounded doors, rounded arrows. And do I not have any rounded windows? Okay, let's make some rounded windows. I'm purposely not showing you guys what yet, because I want to go over there and build. Uh, let's do rounded. Okay, not the battlements, not the ceilings, not the foundations. Keep rounded wall. Do we got a bunch of those? We got 17 of those. Arrow door which I want is that the door I want? I don't know overhang oh there's no just regular window? oh I guess that's why I didn't make any of them okay well let's go take a look at what we've done I've got the walls I've got the rounded door frames and the rounded loops <sighs> is that really it? that's a little disappointing because I thought I could have sworn could have sworn that there was uh, another rounded deal Ah, oh, what a bummer. Okay. Well, let's go look what we got. Ta -ta! So we have got some big old doors in the front. I made them ice doors of obsidian. I don't know if I'm sticking with that theme or not. Then I built the inside. Oh, it's so dark. Uh, and then I built the inside here. I tried to make it kind of look good with a little pattern. Um, so these are, t I don't know if they're supposed to be windows or doors, but either way they have a window for them. But, and it looks awesome. I like them better than little square windows. Though I did use a couple little square windows that I can open and shut down here and shoot out of. Apparently you can also shoot out of all these arrow slits, which is really cool. Um, definitely a fan of that. So only thing we have left as far as the walls for the first level, hey, how do you get back there? Is these rounded parts, which is why I was grabbing all these. Let's do rounded walls and rounded arrow slits and rounded door frames, I guess. I don't know. What the heck I want to do with those? And let's try to put some down. 
So this is what they look like. So we definitely want, I think the first one here to be one of those. Maybe both like that. And, oh, this will be a good place for a secret door. Not very secret since I'm telling you guys. But nonetheless, let's see how it looks. Uh, oh, yes. Nope. There we go. Okay. Oh, and then I can just kind of... Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm so stoked on that. And then we're gonna need to get some straight stuff too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get just these rounded tower parts set up, I think. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so we have built up one tower. It actually took a little more than I thought. I don't know exactly how high I'm gonna make it, but I'm thinking that's about how much like right there, like it is in the front. Uh, I just gotta copy it across, but I'm running out of materials. And the, plus the only way I can get that high is by building from on top of uh, our mammoth. That's why I've been placing things. But um, I realized I started to block myself out because I can't fit through this door. And so I need to take down a wall here so I can get up inside the base and build it um, and make more parts. But I don't think we're gonna finish that today in this video. I'm probably gonna do it off camera. Um, man, you have no idea. It was probably five hours of just gathering plus the crafting and then the building. This is actually, I'm finishing this video uh, second day. It's not the same day I started doing this video because it is, uh, it was such a big process and there's still a lot more to do. Um, but for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. Um, if you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. Um, you can also hit me up on all the social medias. You got your Google pluses, even your Twitters, Instagrams, Facebooks, and I do have a Patreon as well. So feel free to check that out at patreon.com slash Obadiah um, Anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. Um, and until next time, I will see you later.